Welcome back to my channel, me Tee Gemma, my model for today and here is the beautiful look we did on her. It's green and warm and beautiful. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. First off, I threaded her eyebrows just to remove all the unwanted hair. You already know threading is my preferred method. Once that was done, I went in and moisturized her face. I'm applying the moisturizer here with a brush but I also went over with my fingers to smooth that over. Over that, in the center of her face, I'm applying an illuminating veil. This one is from Danessa Myricks. I really like this illuminator, unlike the other ones I've used. This one actually dries down matte, so I feel like it's a better option for people with oily skin, like me. Once the base is intact, we're going to go in and start covering. So I applied her own shade of foundation all over her face. And this is Medium Cover Foundation from Mary Kay. You already know this is one of my favorites. I'm applying it with a damp beauty blender and that just goes all over her face. Guys, the lighting in this video is going to go up and down and sideways again. Remember I just moved? Yeah, my setup isn't ready yet. I highlighted her face with AJ Crimson Cream Foundation. And I applied that with a small brush and then I'm just going to go back with the same damp beauty blender I used before to blend it in. But so far, I'm just applying it with a brush to the center of her face, under her eyes, center of her forehead, bringing it down her nose, and it's going to go on her chin as well. Then I tried to sculpt her cheekbones a little with this. She has full cheeks, but I wanted to give them um, a bit more structure in this look. So I applied the highlight right under her cheekbones as well. I'm going back in with the damp beauty blender to blend the concealer into the rest of her face so I'm just tapping with the same damp beauty blender I'm going to blend um, under her eyes I'm blending out just the edges and I'm leaving the parts really close to her eyes intact first I'll go back in later to contour her face I'm using vision cream cover from Danessa Myricks I've used this foundation a few times before so you already know how I feel about it it's like a hybrid between a liquid and a cream foundation. So it's a liquid, but it gives you all the coverage a cream would and it's very easy to blend. So I applied that around her hairline and here down the sides of her cheeks, down the sides of her nose, <laughs> and then back with the Beauty Blender to blend everything in. Just before I set under her eyes, I applied a little more of the cream foundation and then I'm going to blend it in with the Beauty Blender. And as soon as I'm done blending, then I will go in and set it with No Color Powder from RCMA and I'm just pressing that in with a flat puff. So of course the RCMA powder is going to go everywhere. We use the lighter foundation, so under her eyes, down the center of her face, forehead, press, press, press. <laughs> then I brush off all the excess powder. I do not use this powder to bake. I don't really bake in general. I just press the powder in and then whisk away all the excess. Once that's done, I'm switching to LA Pro Girl Powder to contour her face. I'm setting the darker foundation we used earlier. And then finally, we go in with her own shade and this one is Mineral Powder from Milani. And that's just going to help blend all the shades we've used on her face together. And I'll just keep going over everywhere, make sure everything is seamless. And then we can move on to the fun stuff. I'm filling in her brows with Perfect Brow Pencil from J.Cat. This pencil is a really good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. It has, well it's not a triangular shape, but it has like a flat rectangle type shape to it. And it's it twists up as well. So I just gently filled her brows in with that. And then I'm going to brush her hairs up and in place with Brow Fix from Senna Cosmetics. This one is a brown with like a shimmer. It doesn't leave that obvious glitter on the brows or anything, but it leaves a bit of a shimmer to it. And I like that. Next, I primed her eyelids with um, eyeshadow primer from House of Tara. Blend that in and then I'm going to start working in her crease. The first shadow I'm using is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is Blazing. Blazing is a very warm brown. It's almost, it's almost a red. It reminds me of mud. So it's that red kind of mud you find on the floor in the east. So I'm blending that into her crease slash transition area. And then I'll switch to a darker, um, a darker 
brown but this is still another warm brown so they will both blend in really well together this one is red red velvet it's almost a plum but it's still brown so I'm using this to add more definition to her crease then I'm going to go back in with um, the eyeshadow primer but this time I'm using a flat detailed brush and I'm going to use this to um, really clean up her crease. I'm trying, you may have noticed, but um, Ijama has hooded eyelids. So she has really tiny eyelids and then um, the rest of her eyes are hooded. So we're creating a brand new eyelid for her <laughs> that's much bigger than her natural one. Then um, all over her eyelids, her brand new eyelids, I'm applying extraterrestrial eyeshadow from the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. Then I'm going to blend out the crease, just the crease. Okay, I left the top pretty much as is. Then finally I applied a little bit of black eyeshadow, whisk away all the fallout with the Galaxy palette you will have fallout. Then I lined her upper lash line and smudged out the edge with black eyeshadow. Her lashes are DW Human Hair Lashes from Le Creme or Creme Club, Creme basically. Her lashes are really curly so I had to use a spatula to push her natural lashes out of the way. So the lashes could sit well so I finally completed the look with hot chocolate lip fix from Magnolia makeup and OCC lip tie in Hollywood and voila voila the look is complete and this little guy is Napoleon this is the only reason why nice to eat Yama. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.